All right, here's another late night screencast. Uh, this time we're talking about is Clonezilla, and more specifically, these are just the functions I uh, created. And uh, if you ever use Clonezilla, the uh, end cursor interface, you know, I always hated that thing because you really can't use the back button. Uh, let me give you an example here. So let's say we do this. So if we select any of these fucking thing, right? Um, you can't really press back and go back to the, the option that you were at. It's kind of annoying. So if you select the wrong options, um, you're stuck. And if you're using it on a live CD, which I did, uh, you would have to reboot your whole system. It'll boot. It'll take a, a while to boot up and then redo this fucking thing again. And it was really annoying, and I always hated that shit. So that's why I always hated the end cursor interface. They do have a command line interface, but it's again, it's not very good either. Um, so that's why I opted to create my own uh, function and this time we're just going to talk about like you know some simple stuff like backing up uh, the full disk and restoring the full disk too or re you know backing up the um, a single partition or restoring a single partition and pretty simple here so let me show you here what we're going to do so I have my USB flash drive for this example Right, they have uh, two partitions in here, and it has some files in here and whatever. Uh, we're gonna format this thing later on and then you know restore it. But this is our um, mounted drives here, and we can do that from what is that the command line here? So we can list it out. So in the command line, this one is my USB device here. It's only about four gigs, but it has um, two partitions in it. Right, this one and this one. And this one is uh, exe2, and this one's a fat32. Uh, and as far as um, the disk usage of it, um, this one, user one is using 11 megs, right? And this one is um, 31 megs. And if you ever use Clonezilla, it's, um, it's kind of like a front end to different programs, right? It's based on, what is that, part clone? And I think this one's the backup program for that is uh, part image. And if you're backing up like NTFS stuff, it will use uh, NTFS clone. And the last resort is that it's going to use the DD command, right? And rarely do you want to use the DD command because the DD command will clone the whole thing. Uh, what I mean by that is that let's say on your device here, this one we're only using 11 megs, right? If you use the DD command, it will actually clone the whole thing like uh, 1.8 gigs here, even the free space. So really, we only need to back up 11 megs. Um, but when you use DD, it will actually clone the free space also, and it's really annoying. DD is more for like, um, was it arch not archival, but um, more for like data recovery. It's not really for archival purposes. However, you could use it for that too if you wanted to but it's not very efficient as saving space if you get my drift anyways what we're going to do is that the um, clone both of these or this whole drive SDD here um, let's do that again here we're going to clone this uh, SDD drive here right and it has two partitions in it using our um, function here so this one is for disk cloning and um, we're going to do a restore also, okay? Anywho, how do we do this here? We do uh, clonezilla. Um, well, you can do disk cloning or restoring. Um, partition cloning or restoring. So depending on what you want to do. So we're going to do disk cloning. And what this one does is that it will actually clone um, all of this. So if you have like multiple partitions or whatever, it will actually, um, you know, uh, do all of them. Anyways, um, let's get the help page for this. I wrote a, a little mini help page. And in the note here, it says that um, your output file will be saving your current path. So if you want to save it to uh, our current path here, then it will be in our downloads folder. But let's say we make a new folder here. We'll call this my saved it data or something like that, right? And let's move into that folder. 
so now we have an empty folder here there's nothing in here and we'll do that again here clonezilla this cloning and what do you want to um, you know um, clone so we're gonna do SDD this is our device for our USB and to do this pretty simple we want to do the command and also give it a name and then you know the device that we want to clone right so let's do let's give this a name we'll call this one my USB drive and that one was SDD right uh, and then it says this one SDD is mounted you have to unmount it so we have to go and unmount this sucker here so right now it's mounted we want to unmount unmount all of it all right and now let's do the command again and it should work and we type in our password and then it will say um, you know uh, this is where it's gonna save it to here right so that we call this one my USB drive and I gave it an extra name here uh, clonezilla and I know I'm formatting the disk and it gives you the date also and I will hit yes or I mean why me and I hit enter and it's gonna start cloning uh, both of those um, you know partition right so the first one's done now it's gonna do the second one here and like I said this one's the fat 32 the first one was ext2 and now we should have our uh, image here right this is our image it's not an ISO or it's just actually a folder so if you go in there uh, you have all your stuff inside it here and this one is only about 41 megs right I mean if you were to do this on uh, the DD command it will actually back up to 4 gigs instead of 41 megabytes so that's the difference between using DD and any of these other commands anyways um, how do we restore this but before we restore it let's delete our um, you know our well let's format it let's format this sucker um, let's do that here uh, if you remember my USB uh, format command what was that one format to USB let's say we format this to NTFS or something and how do we use this uh, this one is on SDD so we want to do um, format to USB NTFS we'll give it a name uh, Junko or something that's our name <laughs> SDD here and we're gonna format this it says do you want to format the uh, device at SDD we'll say yes to continue and we'll format it here to NTFS so now we check our drives again uh, it says Junko, right? We deleted those two partitions. You know, um, we don't have those anymore. Uh, what is this? No, oh, what is this here? Create new folder, blah, blah, blah. Right, so uh, let's say we want to restore it to our image that we had earlier in here. So this is our image that we had earlier. Um, if we want to restore it, how do we do it? Pretty much the same thing. We want to do a uh, clonezilla, spell it right. Um, this, and this time we do a restore, okay. And what do we want to restore? This one was on, what was that? SDD, right? This is our um, drive now, SDD here. So we we'll do uh, our. If I explain that right, let me do it again here. So we have our image here, right? And we want to restore it to our SDD drive. So we do uh, what is that? This restore, and we want to put that uh, uh, image right there. And we want to do it to SDD, right? And that's pretty much it. We do this, 
And then it says, oh yeah, this one's mounted. You make sure you unmount it. So let's do unmount here. Unmount, all right. And then uh, run the command again. And this time it should um, do its job here. So it's gonna put back those two um, partitions that we deleted earlier because we formatted our uh, USB drive. So it checks, um, you know, our drive here, and you said, "Do you want to continue?" We'll put Y, enter, and it tells us um, two times because you know it would give us the warning two times because uh, we might fuck up because some people, you know, they do yes and. <laughs> You know they uh, meant no or something so that's why they give us two warnings here so we do yes again to be confirm it and now it should uh, you know restore it now so the first one here is ext like I said right right here ext And the next one should be a FAT32 um, file system here. Look at this one here, FAT32. So there you go. And pretty much uh, anything else? We'll wait for it to finish here. And that's it. So let's check our USB again. See, we have our files back. Look at that. We have our files back here. All right. Pretty much it. Uh, and that one's for um, the full disk, but you can use the other commands that I talked about. What was that? This one's for um, what was it, the disk cloning. All right. And the second one is for the restoring. And if you want to do a, a single partition, um, you can use a single partition here. Let me give you an example of that. Why not? Let's do another one here. So if I just want to clone um, this FAT32 partition only, I can do um, what is that? Clonezilla partition cloning, and we're gonna call this one uh, USB. I don't know, 2.0. All right, that's it. We're gonna call it USB 2.0. And what is this one on? SDD2. All right. Oh, it's mounted. So when unmount this one, which one was it? Let's unmount all of them. So we're gonna do cloning. So this one's for a single partition only. And we'll do yes. It's pretty much the same process that you see on the other one. It's just that this one is for a single. Uh, partition so this one's just doing the fat 32 only right and that's pretty much it um, that's all you gotta know now when you're saving it to whatever location you're at make sure that location has enough space to um, you know um, host your your image here otherwise uh, it won't work uh, anything else in here Pretty much it. And when you're when you're restoring it to um, the device, make sure the device is equal or greater than what it was. So if it was like a a two gig uh, USB flash drive, you make sure it, it was two gigs there. Uh, same thing with uh, if you're doing like a partition. If the partition was like one gig, then make sure you're restoring it to a, a one gig or higher. Right. Basic stuff that you need to know before using this here. But uh, as far as the naming convention, um, when you back up, uh, it will give you the name that you entered. So this is the name that we entered. But uh, it will actually have the clonezilla. And this one was uh, the full disk. That's why it has a disk here. And it gives you the date of when you created it. Same thing with uh, this one down here. This one was um, a partition. And it knows that uh, when I'm reading this, I know that that was the name. This one is using a clonezilla. And this one was um, partition two, right? And uh, the date and all that. Simple stuff. Anyways, those are some of the common things that you would do when you're cloning 
and I prefer it this way because it's quick and, and easy and I know exactly what it's doing um, so on and so forth I really didn't like the um, the clonezilla because you couldn't really change the well you couldn't do it easily I will say let me show you what I'm talking about here um, this path here it was actually something else so I had to use uh, my function here to change the path of where I want to save it to so what they did in here was that they um, had like a, a set uh, was a path of where it should be saved to that and they didn't have any command line flags to change it um, you know they have a command line um, for like cloning and everything but they don't have a command line flag to change this path uh, from the command line and it was really annoying so that's why um, I had to create my own little functions to uh, change that every time um, anyways talking long enough but that's what you do if you want to use clonezilla um, I do have some other options but I'm still working on that and this one is like I think like a year ago I wrote this so I don't remember most of it but uh, it's, it still works so I'm you know doing this fucking screencast here anywho everything will be in the description from the code and everything uh, that'll be it for this one if you're just using clonezilla for basic stuff like I was using that's like 99% of the things I would do and I think for other people that's 99% you, what you're going to do anyways. If you're using it for like a SSH or Samba um, backups or something, you might have to use the, the main Clonezilla program to do that, right? Anyways, that's it for this one.